Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. My name is Rachel Hoffman. I am coming to you live from Turn of the Century Antiques, which is our vintage and antique and every kind of doll. We love all dolls here. Doll shop out here in Denver, Colorado. I am also the creator of Virtual Doll Convention and I love to do fun doll things and put them on the internet. So happy Friday. It's fun to be with you today and I've missed seeing you. So it's really, really good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So first of all, I want to, some of you have seen the outfit that I am wearing, but some of you have not. And I wore it because it's a very special day because I have a special delivery right here that I am so excited to unbox for the first time and show it to you. But this, the dress that I am wearing is the iconic rainbow dress. And if you remember this dress from around this time last year, let me know, give me an emoji, tell me because it was so iconic when I wore this dress and it is kind of hard to see, but it, it's like ice cream and it has layers and layers and layers and layers. So I'm going to show you guys this dress in a full picture later on, but here's the reason why I wore it. I knew these dolls were coming today and I understand what it's like when you are looking for and waiting for a doll or a delivery, believe me. And if you're, I, a lot of you are waiting for the, the Grace dolls and other things from me. And believe me, I understand because I am the same way. I want it and I want it now. And I just, I'm like waiting, waiting, waiting. So every time the, and the Grace dolls are on their way, by the way, they're not here. They're coming from the factory. But every time the door went off today, I ran around the corner and, and went to see if it was FedEx bringing me my dolls. So today I, I purchased these dolls when uh, a, my friend, a friend, uh, Stacy sent them to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I have loved Raggedy Ann and and, uh, Andy dolls since forever. They were dolls that I could have fun with and play with. I never worry about breaking and they just had an essence about them and a personality about them and I just loved everything about them uh, from the beginning and as my mother was such a doll collector and I could have had anything I wanted and and but I, I wasn't really a doll kid I wasn't really into dolls when I was a little girl I liked Barbies a little bit but I always 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 liked Raggedy Ann and Andy and I never stopped but um and I'm all, and I'm always on the hunt, and I'm always looking out. But I, my friend Stacy sent me these dolls, and I was just like, "Holy crap! I have to have those, have to." And I didn't feel guilty one bit. I bought these for myself, for us to have here at the shop, for visitors to see, for them to live here, and because I, I want these here for people to see and to enjoy and to learn about. And they're just so amazing, you guys. <laughs> These are going to be, when they come out of the box, I'm going to take them and give them to the, the my doll ladies in the back. And they're going to press them and make them look like they didn't just travel across the country in a box. So they are going to be, no pun intended, raggedy when they come out and wrinkled and everything. But it's Raggedy Ann and Andy. So here's what is so special about what I have here. And by the way. I am live for real and I have not opened this box ever. It just came. So you are experiencing this for the first time with me at the shop. I will be taking more photos. I'm wearing my happy dress because it's a, it's a happy doll day for me and I want to celebrate it and share it with you. So feel free to share the video so others can get on and it is so much fun. So it's Friday here in the doll shop for us. So it's, if you can see this picture right here, these are a pair of very, very, very rare oversized Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls right there. And this is the um, Andrew Tabbitt's World of Raggedy Ann book, which has always um, has been one of my favorites. I think he might have, whoops, oh, okay. Uh, my, my dolls just fell off the table, uh, but it's okay. And do you know why it's okay? Because they're Raggedy Ann and Andy. They can fall off tables and they will be just fine. That is one of the things I love about them. They're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna pick up this box here in a minute. But a company called uh, Beers Keeler Bowman 
made a very, very, very limited amount of oversized Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls for the Volan company. They used these dolls in store displays and to, um, there we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, it was like cutting off my head. They used these dolls in store displays to promote uh, the, the, the Raggedy Ann books and to promote the Raggedy Ann dolls. So you know how when you go into a store display, you guys know what store displays are. So it's like a, a special version of whatever they're selling and they're usually big. So a store display doll or a store display, you know, whatever, they're usually like huge. When you think of old department stores or even new department stores, they get huge store displays and they put them in their windows to attract people to see. So they're they're really big and the there is an original receipt that shows that the volan company ordered them on special order 620 ands and 700 and uh 710 andes and that's it that's it for their entire production and one of the wonderful things that I remember is when I was preparing to do a uh, talk on Raggedy Ann and Andy and I was talking to my mom about it and I was showing her the different things and I was and I said, mom, they even made these really super ultra rare Raggedy Ann and Andy's that are these oversized ones that were used in store displays and they're so elusive and so hard to find. She said, oh, I have one of those. And I was like, what? And she did, she had an oversized Andy and he is one of my favorite dolls ever. I have shown him in other videos. You guys have seen him in a lot of videos. He is at my mom's house right now. He's not here, but I always wanted an Ann to go with him. And you guys, I have a set Two Raggedy Ann and Andy oversized are here in this box. So that's what's so great about them is that they can fall off and they will be just fine. So let's hope it is what it is. This is the first time I have bought something. Actually, I'm not, I, I'm going to lie when I say it's the first time I bought something in a while. I've been buying all kinds of things, but this is the first like biggie in a while. So it's really fun to share it with you. Okay. Oh, lots of packing. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay. <laughs> Look at this. All right, there's Andy. I can literally not believe it. Oh my God. Look at him. They have these wonderful, huge baseball mitt kind of oversized hands and they're the absolute best look at how big his hand is it's like almost the size of my head it's wonderful okay he has some condition issues but i literally do not care these are so amazing by the way if you find them out send them to me i will give you a big prize Okay, so here's Andy now. Isn't he just literally, look at how big he is next to me. There he is, he's such a hugger. And this is his original outfit. I was trying to find, I have an amazing archival image of Johnny Gruel sitting in a big circle with all of these. And then there's also a copy of the original purchase order for the Andes. So absolutely flipping cute oh my gosh he's amazing they made these in 1920 so they are a hundred years old absolutely amazing they're 36 inches tall connie says i just fainted he's so fabulous thank you thank you guys for enjoying this moment with me you know what i mean it's just so fun like and i even wore a special outfit and everything because it was raggedy ann and andy day you have no idea how how long i wanted the ann and then to get both so ann better be in there okay oh my gosh you guys 
<laughs> Woo! She is so cute. Yeah, 1920. But remember, they didn't make these. They didn't make these for kids to buy. These were store displays to promote the smaller dolls and to promote the books. So they were not an, an, uh, a production item. They were just store displays. So you got them if you worked at the bookstore or if you worked at the toy store or if you were a friend of the Gruelles. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here is Raggedy Ann. Look at her. I wanted an Ann for my Andy, for my mom's Andy for so long. If you know me and you've been following my videos, you know that I've been wanting this doll. So I freaking had to do it. I got him at an auction and I just, I put in a, I put in a stupid bid because I had to have him. So, oh my gosh, so let, let me get him. So this is not Anne's original dress, unfortunately, but it's okay. This, I think this, this is Andy's original outfit. It's not Anne's original dress, but let me just show you guys. So thank you to Stacy for tipping me off about them. Here they are. Aren't they so amazing? If you have been on my doll journey, then you're gonna understand. They are, they are handfuls. Let me see if I can. <laughs> yes, Lucky Ann has two Andes now, that's right. These ones get to live here. They get to live here. They'll be here at the doll shop living here. My mom's Andy, um, I guess he's my Andy now, but he, he lives at my parents' house. And these ones we're gonna, we're gonna, they're gonna go to the beauty parlor right now and go get all fixed up by the ladies. And then I'll take a picture and show them to you, but. Here they are. Look at those hands. Oh my gosh, so, so fun. So fun. Aren't they fun? So if you have a Raggedy Ann, or if now you're obsessed with Raggedy Ann, just like me, let me know. Do you guys wanna go off-roading? I have, I have been going a little crazy with my Raggedy Anns, and I actually have added like five or six Volans to our collection here in the last month. You know, you know, cause sometimes, it's just like any kind of doll that you really love. Once you get going, um, you can't stop. You just, you, you get obsessed and you can't stop. So my advice is what it says in the title of the video. is just to go after what you want because it's always worth it. I just, I have, I would, I would regret not getting these. Um, even though I had a big bill, I just don't even care. It's okay to splurge. I feel like you know, I work really, really hard. I'm still able to pay my other bills. And so it's okay to splurge and to treat yourself because dolls are experiences. They are such happy experiences. And for so many of us, like, it's hard to even put into words how difficult this year has been on so many levels. And if we can treat ourselves with dolls and make ourselves feel happier and better by having some dolls in our collections, absolutely do it. So, um, you know, I don't, God, I, I, if, if there was two, if, the, if there was more, I would have bought them. So I don't feel guilty at all, but, but I'm a bad influence because I will always tell you to just go after it. I, I consider that actually a good influence, but don't ever call me if you want me to talk you out of something because girlfriends and boyfriends, I just, I like to do everything and, and just buy all the things and, and just do all the things. And it's not that I'm like, 
insanely wealthy or anything like that. I figure out how to make it happen. So I move things around or I sell other stuff. You know what I mean? So just figure out how to do it and get what you want. Get what the heck you want and never feel bad about it. Okay, so there's Andy. Oh my God, I just love him. And I'll show you Anne one more time. It's, it's, it's cr kind of crazy here because we've been uh, shipping a lot of things. Man, if she was in her original outfit, it would just be literally everything. But, ah, oh, David said they are tangible love. They are. Kay just said splurge, 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 live, live, live. That's right. That's right. I, I'm never going to regret living because there's, there's a, so much hard things that we have to deal with. So when you can just have fun, just do it and just don't even, do not even think about it for a second. Um, just do it and buy everything you want. So I think we've made that point clear. So I have my wonderful dolls that I am so excited about, but maybe we can go off-roading. It'll be kind of weird, but um, you have outdoor effects, thundering. Um, it, uh, it, uh, you guys are live, so I'm looking at you right here. You guys are the absolute best. So um, Stan, actually, Stanley, I don't have to go off-roading. Can you grab me some of the new Raggedy Ann's that we've uh, um, added to our collection over there in the top in the top of that case over there. Sure. Thank you. So it's a busy day here. We have a lot going on. We, um, on Monday, we're going to be setting up our new chateau that has all kinds of wonderful furniture that I'm gonna show you and you guys are just gonna absolutely love it. It is so good. It is another splurge. Oops, um, sorry, not sorry. You guys are gonna love seeing this dollhouse. And then, um, yeah, so the doll ladies are in the back and they're gonna help me with this. And uh, Susan just said, you're starting your own museum. I absolutely am, like these are not for sale. Um, I, we are a doll shop and we do sell dolls to make our living, but it's been really, really, really fun doing things like the Grace doll and other initiatives. And I've been um, buying a lot of wonderful things that I can just have here to show you. So <laughs> it takes a lot of pressure off me because then I don't have to sell it. And then it takes a lot of pressure off you because you don't have to buy it. And we can just share and have fun. That said, I still have, this is a doll shop that is full of wonderful things to buy. But you know what I'm saying? Um, also my mom's collection, I'm not selling either. So that's gonna come here and it'll just be on display. So I'm just adding some things to round out her collection and that's, bas that's basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm buying things to round out my, my mother's incredible collection, which will be on display here. So here is a wonderful one. This is a very, very, very sweet early Raggedy Ann and she came with this Andy. Where's the Andy? Was he up there? Is he still up there? Oh no, Linda's still working on him. We have an Andy in the back that Linda's fixing, but this, oh my gosh, she's so sweet. The earliest Volans had, now the earliest, earliest, earliest ones, they had, they had um, painted black feet over the striped material that went all the way down. And instead of making black, black material feet, they just painted black paint over it. And those are the earliest cottage dolls that were actually made by the Gruel family. I do not have one of those, but I would love one. So please send me one universe, you know. Um, I manifested these dolls 100% because I put it out there like crazy. And then my friend um, Stacy saw me and heard me and told me about them. So, oh, here's the Andy. Yeah, he's still, is he done? No. He's still, right his poor foot. So these had, these had little feet issues, but here's the little Andy. They're not a matched pair because this Anne has a um, drawn on face, which is absolutely wonderful. They were drawn on, so they're all different. And um, this Andy has the later printed on face, but he is absolutely still so wonderful. One of the misconceptions about Raggedy Ann is that she had red hair. We always want to think of her as with red hair like Andy, but she had brown hair and all the early dolls are with brown hair. They, they, they transitioned to red hair later on with other manufacturers, but Volan made them with red hair. The earliest ones have this very, very kind of thin um, hair and then it got a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna give you that. You can give that one back and then that one can go back in the case. So I'm just gonna show you a few more because I've been on a rampage and why not?
So another one that I think you guys saw that I think is really cute um, is absolutely adorable. This this is a little bit later. This is a Georgine, and I another one of my loves is Beloved Belindy. And this one is so cute. I bought this one from Jonathan Green in the Summer Fling sales room. And she's by Georgine, which came after Voland. But they are, she is just in such cute condition. Look at her little eyebrows. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. So I added her. I got her for such a good deal. Thank you, Jonathan Green. Had to have her. I wish you guys could see this pile because I've got my huge, my huge Volans. And then I've got like Volans on top of Volans right now. Again, not sorry. <laughs> okay, this girl, I absolutely had to have. I mean, look at her. I'm not gonna do anything to repair this face. This is another wonderful thing that I love about Raggedy Ann because she can be any condition and she's still amazing. Like, what's not to love? Look at that. What is absolutely not to love? Now, her face, uh, she is really, really old. And, and fabric and cloth does get disintegrated. Linda was able to repair her feet, which we showed in a video on the Turn of the Century Antiques Facebook page, and ugh, she did such a good job. But uh, this one is just so darn cute, and she's in her original outfit, so I had to have her. Here's the little Raggedy Ann Stories book, and so the first doll came out with the outfit that's on the cover, the exact print and everything. I don't think I have one with that, but, but look for that because that's really, really fun. So another one that I got, oh, this one's from my mom's collection. So um, I cannot wait. One of the things that we are going to do for our Christmas pageant is I'm going to be setting up when you come into my store, there's going to be a definite area where it's a museum and things from my mom's collection and things that I have added to our museum collection that are just, that are not for sale for you to look at and learn and enjoy, which everything will be on video and shared virtually for you. And then there'll be a whole section, of course, everything that's for sale, but I, but you'll know. So it's not like you're going to come in and be tempted and then, be, and then I'm going to be like, nope, not for sale. Like it'll all be in one spot. And so you can just enjoy, but this one was from my mom's collection, but I brought her here because I thought she'd be so sweet to, to sit with our other Raggedy Ann's. I really love this. They made them with the little one dot tier. These ones are, these ones are rare. So if you find them with the little one dot underneath for the eyelashes, so cute. And I love everything about her, especially like the eyes that are two different, <laughs> two different sizes. And I mean, they're just, look at her little hair. <laughs> She's just, uh, Stanley's laughing at me, but I mean, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah so cute. Okay, so um, the, let's see, this one here, we, see here we're getting a little bit, a little bit larger with the yarn and she's got a fly away. She's got a fly away, but here's another one. This one has a printed face. I can't, I think I just bought this one too. I'm getting so many that I, uh, have you ever done that? Where you're just like, you don't even know where they're coming from. They just start, they're just here. <laughs> they're just, every day you're opening up another one. Uh, you, you Sometimes you just get in a mood and you just have to have them all. So here she is. This one's really cute too. Yeah. So, so, so sweet. Here's another one. This one has a printed face. I, I just love all the Volans. I really do. Uh, Linda put a, a sweet, this isn't her original apron, but Linda put this on her and it has a little bow. Oh, it's so sweet. So I think it looks really cute. So this one has the thick uh, hair and she is absolutely adorable. So I think that's it. If you If you're just tuning in, uh, this video will be live and it'll be on YouTube, but the, I, I just shared um, the unboxing of my Holy Grail, my oversized Raggedy Ann's. I'm going to pass these over to Linda and she is going to, with Stephanie, um, take the clothes off and um, just see what we can do to stabilize the fabric and stabilize uh, the, their bodies and what we can do to just preserve them. But aren't they just going to be wonderful additions? Goodness, I mean, my, I mean, really, Linda. How long? How much have I been talking about these dolls? Every day. Yeah, she said every day. Every time the mailman came, I I would rush to the door and I'd be like, "Is that my box?" Okay, I'm gonna show you guys Andy one more time. I just cannot get over it. 
<laughs> I mean, it's like literally the size of a pie. It's wonderful. Look at these huge hands. Put his hat on. Yeah, his hat. We need to stabilize his hat. Maybe we should go live in the in the um, back and see what the doll ladies decide to, to do, what, what Linda's gonna do to diagnose him. Becca, these are from 1920. So they are 100 years old. Um, and the wonderful thing about them, again, is that these were not produced for the market. They were made only as store displays. So the, the few people that I have uh, met with and, and run into that have them either had families that worked at the store or had some kind of connection to the family or something like that. So I probably just... You know, it's really important to, just to share. I would never want to have these and not show them or tell you about them because then I think maybe I could get more if I didn't talk about them, but I just don't care because I feel like what's meant for you, you're going to get, and what's not meant for you is not going to happen. And if you just stay at peace with that, it really helps, it really helps you a lot. It really helps me a lot when... Uh, for instance, it, it happens that people will want to sell me something and then they decide not to and they sell it to somebody else. And a lot of times it's somebody I know and stuff like that. It happens a lot in our industry, but I just don't ever get worried about it because what's meant for me is meant for me. And so for you, just go after whatever. And, and believe me, I went after these like crazy and, and I got them, but you just never, you, you just never know. My advice is just to have fun with it and just keep your heart and mind open for the unexpected and keep, keep some, uh, extra money in the bank for when you have to, for emergency doll money, like, uh, extra emergency <laughs> because, or just have a credit card, you know, just a credit card. Most people accept credit cards too. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It'll be really fun to see what the doll ladies decide to do to, to kind of preserve them and get them ready. But it was really fun to share. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. And uh, I'll chat with you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a share and especially a thumbs up. That helps get my content out there and really helps our shop out. And uh, make sure to subscribe on YouTube. Okay, bye everybody.